instructor of holy prophets and of holy apostles. God gave this message of holiness to his apostles and they didn't deviate at all from what Jesus taught them. That's what makes holiness preaching so strong and so correct. You know, God told his apostles, I make you fishers of men. You can go to the water, but everybody don't know how to fish. <clears throat> there are some skilled fishermen, they know what part of the water to go to. They'll tell you, no, you don't want to fish over there, you won't catch nothing. But you drop your net here. You guarantee you to get a lot. Well, God have taught me how to fish. And uh, he has it so that we can drop our net <clears throat> any place. And it had never come back empty. God have proven that to us regardless of the state, the country, the town, the village. And this is not being done nowhere in America or the world in this manner where souls by thousands are repenting of their sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ on this magnitude. It's not happening like this nowhere. Even my enemies got to admit they have never seen anything like it. It is because these are the last days. And God himself is gathering up those who want to be Bible right. I'm certainly not here in Seattle to give you my opinion because my opinion don't mean nothing. And you know yours don't. And if you don't know yours don't, I'm just telling you, yours don't. Whatever God said, it matters. Last night, 60 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, which is a blessing. We want to update you uh, on those that was baptized. As I mentioned, 60 last night, last Sunday in Los Angeles, last weekend, 99. Two in Sacramento, California, nine in headquarters, one in New Brunswick, New Jersey, one in Bronx, New York, seven in Baltimore, three in Fredericksburg, Virginia, two in Portsmouth, one in Raleigh, North Carolina, one in Rocky Mount, one in Augusta, Georgia, ten in Atlanta, Georgia, one in Gangsville, Florida, two in Houston, Texas, two in Lafayette, Louisiana, one in Minnesota, one in North Chicago, one in Charlotte, North Carolina, one in Delmar, Delaware, 18 in Columbus, Ohio, five in Omaha, Nebraska. International baptisms, one in Mauritius Islands, one in Jamaica, two in the Cayman Islands, four in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, two in the Netherlands, eight in Trinidad, 21 in Barbados, 10 in Singapore, 28 in Ghana, 75 in the Philippines, 10 in Dubburn, South Africa, one in Cape Town, Africa. In one week, 394 souls. As I said before, so say I now again. This is not going on no place in America or nowhere in the world today where a preacher is out and the net is full with souls being baptized the Bible way in the name of Jesus Christ and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I want to greet all our brothers and sisters in Australia. And in New Zealand, I want to thank Pastor Mars, who we sent to Singapore and sent to the Philippines and did a, mar a marvelous job over there. 75 was baptized in the Philippine Islands, I think it was this week. Amen. And uh, that was a blessing. So God willing, we'll be making plans for the Philippines and Malaysia. It's just so many areas that we have to get into, I don't have enough time in a year. There's not even enough time in a year for me to be where we have to go. 
our uh, South Pacific tour that's coming up to the Samoan Islands, Fiji Islands, Solomon Islands, Crook Islands, all the islands out there in the South Pacific, not that far from Japan. We'll be flying from island to island. We may be out of the country for about 14 days or more, but we'll be stopping from one island to the other, dropping Bible bombs there. Amen. Amen. Dropping Bible bombs, breaking up the Trinitarian teaching. That's it. Breaking up the fake Father, Son, and Holy Ghost baptism that the preachers are performing and yet not understanding. And if there's any more here in Seattle that was baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, if you didn't know, and as obviously you didn't, you were baptized wrong. You didn't obey what Jesus said. Jesus never told nobody to be baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. He told you to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you cannot be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost unless you know the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. This is why I tell the world all the Pentecostal churches baptize everybody wrong. I said all of you. Everybody, hear the old man now, that were baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost have to go back in water. All pastors, all bishops, all so-called apostles, all elders, all evangelists, you have to come out of your pulpit. I don't care what color you are. Your skin don't mean nothing to God, and it don't mean nothing to me. If you're white as snow, black as the street, yellow as a school bus, or clear as water, everybody must do their work over again. Amen. Hear me good now. This is a recall yeah, on God's creation. <coughs> there are some bugs in God's creation. The bugs that are in God's creation is sin. You were born wrong. Born full of sin. Born full of the devil. Born wicked. Born in sin and shaped into iniquity. That's why when you got older, you act like a fool. You was out there smoking and drinking and partying and gambling and you men was wearing your hair long like a girl. Am I right? Yes, sir. You walking next to your girlfriend and your hair was flowing just as much as hers. Thought it was two women walking down the street. Why? Didn't know no better. Women was out here with skin tight pants showing everything that God gave you from birth. Advertising your body, your body parts. And then getting angry when men approach you. They approach you because you're advertising what God gave you. Holiness is the instructions of God that God sent to the world through the form of Scripture. You know, when I came up, old folk would spell the word Bible, B-I-B-L-E. They would say that means basic instructions before leaving earth. And that's what the word of God is, basic instructions. Before you die. Amen. Because you bear in mind. Doesn't matter of your background. Your culture. How you was raised. How you was born. One thing every culture. And every nationality got in common. Yeah. Is death. Yeah. The preacher can say the nicest words over you when you die. I mean the nice words. Yeah. They can have choirs singing. and Marching around your old ugly corpse. Let your mom and daddy fall on you and cry and kiss your stiff lips. Mm. Mm. Let them throw cocaine in the casket. Yeah. Pull beer on your casket. Oh, Let your friends write your name on the back of their cars and put rest in peace. Yeah. You die without God, you're not going to rest in peace. Yeah. Don't care how tough you are, what gang you're in, what gang you're a member of. 
As I say over the air, I'm from the hood. I mean, I'm from the deep jungle hood. Where holding our hands was a pleasure. And I held them well. Held them so well, I smiled when it was my turn to tango with you. I smiled, I laughed. Gave me joy to go to the old and the new. We boxed two ways in the hood. Slap boxing. Then body boxing. Body boxing tests your endurance. We will put our toe up against the next person. So we can see each other. And then just put our body, <clears throat> ribs, chest, all the way down. Until we retire from pain. I'm still a boxer. I got the Old Testament. And I got the New Testament. And I'm going toe to toe with everybody. And I'm going to hurt you. Deliberately. With Bible. You're going to want me to stop. But I want to beat you away from hell. Hurt you enough that you'll run to Jesus. Glory to God. Hurt you enough that you'll leave that shacking up home, living together, not married. Mm -hmm. The man with long hair get a haircut. So nobody won't mistake him for a girl or a fellow on the down low. Take the tight pants and the hot pants off the young lady. Cover up her nakedness so she can be a decent young woman. Tell her to keep her virginity till she get married. Holiness, I said. I said, holiness. Presents you the intelligence of God, the thinking of God, and God's thoughts is not like ours. You better give me that in the book of Isaiah. That, that just come to me. That just come to me and I'm ready to shift gears and park right at, right at that meter. Right at that meter. I got meter. I got a lot of quarters to put in that meter too. Amen. I don't have my opinions about sin. If I gave my personal views about sin, I may be in Seattle but not in church. Amen. I, I may be hanging out at one of your Seattle clubs. I don't know what it's like, but I'm pretty sure you do. Amen. And I'm pretty sure you can take me to one where the music is loud and blasting. And everybody jumping around having a good time as you think. The world's going to be functioning just like it is now. But one day the Lord going to appear up in heavens. Can you imagine the commotion in the earth, the noise in the streets, people running out of hospitals, out of churches, stopping in mid-traffic and cars, looking up, and there's the Lord, looking at creation. Fear come upon everybody. Dope dealer, drop his drugs. Prostitute, go in a state of shock. Preachers cry That's right. because they know they can't make it. That's right. Church have early dismissal and the entire congregation is lost. Oh, and yet been going to church for 30, 40, and 50 years just to find out you're on your way to an everlasting hell. My job is to bring you the thoughts of God that's against your thoughts, your feelings, the way you was raised, how you was taught, have nothing in common with God. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and we'll start at All verse right, 7. All right, to you that are watching, again, we're coming to you live from Seattle, Washington. We're way up in the northwestern part of this ungodly country known as America. <laughs> the land of the devil. Eh? That's right. That's what it is, the land of the devil. That's right. The only reason why God didn't destroy this country yet is given America time to get right with him. Yeah. You that are here in Seattle, Washington, I don't care who your pastor is. I don't care what church you're a member of. You got two choices, heaven or hell. That's it. This get rich 
touching, claim preaching, all of it came from hell. Right. These preachers got you thinking the way you get close to God is give money. Money ain't going to get you close to God. If that's the case, every poor, per every poor person is in a bad predicament. Right. You can be broke as broke can be, but yet be rich by walking with God. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Right. All right, follow me in the Bible. Get this. Isaiah chapter 55, and we'll start at verse 7. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way. What? Let the wicked forsake his way. Let's start off talking about Seattle, Washington. Yes, Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Not just Seattle, but every other place. That's right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Are you wicked today? Wicked. You might as well say amen. <laughs> That's right. I know you don't want to, but you might as well. Might as well. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, let's look at your way. Notice amen. it says. His way. His way. His way. It didn't say God's way because God's way is not wicked. That's right. Let the wicked leave off. That's right. His way. His way. Look at your way. Cigarette sucker. Yeah. Pipe smoker. Yeah. Tobacco chewer. Mm -hmm. Dice roller. Card player, pool player, hot pants wearer, that's right. halter wearer, yeah. CVS hair, mm. Walgreens toupee. Amen. Men arching their eyebrows. That's right. Men 70 years old and got his mustache and beard and hair, dot dyed midnight black like a fool. That's right. Beard midnight black with little gray stubbles on his scalp. Amen. You will love the way God made you. That's right. Let what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Hanging out all night waiting to be picked up by some preacher that just left church. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. Same sex marriage. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. His way. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. Banquets in your church. That's right. Selling tickets to come in the church. That's right. Selling tickets to go to any program that's supposed to that's represent right. Christ. Amen. You ain't got no business have to pay to come see something that's of God. No, no. God told us how to come to him. Yes, that's right. He said, come without money. And without price. Listen at this. In Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 1. That's what? Ho, everyone that thirsted. Ho! Everyone that Wait. thirsted. That's it. First word is what? Ho. Ho. Stop. Stop. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. He didn't even click where he was reading. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ho. Stop. That's it. That's what mm. the man say when he's riding a horse. That's Ho. That's right. Stop. Ho. Mm. Go ahead. Man. Stop. Go ahead. I'm going. <laughs> Glory to God. What did the Holy Ghost say, William? Ho. Stop. Everyone that thirsty. Everyone that's thirsty. Come ye to the waters. Come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money. He that don't have no money. Come ye. Come ye. Buy and eat. Buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk. Come get wine and milk. Without money. Without money. And without price. That's it. Hallelujah. Get this free. Mm. Hallelujah. You don't have to pay a dime to come see us ever. Ever. That's right. Ever. That's right. That means you can come get killed free. That's free. Hmm? That's right. Oh, so you going to see Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how much it costs? Nothing. 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 <laughs> what you going for? To die. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's going to shoot me. He gonna... Yeah, the Bible said they shall be shot in the wound. And wounded. We're That's shooting right. everybody. Oh, yes, you are. I'm shooting you with scripture. That's right. I don't exempt you either, preacher. That's I don't right. care who you are. Yeah. I don't care if you do say God called and sent you to preach That's the right. gospel. I don't oh, yeah. care. Right. If God called and sent you to preach the gospel, oh, yeah. then you ain't got no problem with what I'm preaching. That's right. If you got a problem with what I'm preaching, that devil sent you. That's right. That's right. None of God's apostles fought each other. No. Right. Oh, no. Right. Not one. Not one. Even though Paul came on after the Son of God died, and then that body was glorified, and he ascended above all heavens, yeah. Paul didn't have the pleasure that the other apostles have right. by walking with Jesus in the flesh, but he walked with them in the spirit. That's right. And even though he came on later, his teaching didn't differ from Peter or That's James right. or John right. or Matthias or That's Matthias right. or Matholomew. That's right. None of them. None of them. Glory to God, they all had the same thing. That's right. Right. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, you that are wicked watching. Amen. Amen. Let's 
Time to forsake your way, three God believer. That's right. Two God believer. That's right. A big God and a little Jesus. Amen. And a third person in the Godhead. That's a threefold lie that That's a lie. So far out of hell. That's right. The devil done served us that lie, and I'm determined to beat it back. Amen. The what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake your way. Forsake his way. Ignore the color of your skin. Stop thanking you so much because you're white. That's right. Because you're not. That's right. Right. And you stop thanking you so much because you're black. Right. Yeah. Because you're not. Amen. 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 Problem with the church is they won't tell you. No. I will. Oh, right. yes, you will. Hmm? Oh, yes, you will. Amen. Many of you black churches feel so honored because a white man or a white woman come in there. Yeah. And you sit there. Oh. <laughs> they say, we had white folks today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I met them like that. That's right. We, we actually had some white people come to church. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's the way some of them are. That's right. Amen. And then you get some black brother or black sister come inside of a white church. Sometimes they'll be like, wow, what, what, what are they doing here? What are they? That's right. <laughs> or they may grab their pocketbooks or clutch bag. <laughs> Amen. This message bring every color. Every, every color. Because the Lord said that all nations. All nations shall flow unto it. Oh, if they God flow unto it. That's right. Here in God's church, we treat all colors the same. That's right. We honored by everybody, brethren. That's right. Eh? That's right. We don't put no color above the other. No. I don't look at a white sister and say, she's my white sister. You just my sister. That's right. I don't look at a, 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 a black brother and say, that's my black brother. You just my brother. For my house shall be called a house of prayer. Listen at what God said. In Isaiah chapter 56 and at you verse 7. I thunder it hard. Oh, yes. Because racism is still alive. And to my sad regret, well. Well. In a lot of so-called Pentecostal churches. That's right. True. I have a lot of folk that left the United Pentecostal Church. That's right. One of their biggest complaints was racism. Amen. It ain't hard to find that some of these churches are racist, especially if they got, sometimes to my sad regret, a slave driver for an overseer. Mm. You will hardly find any man or woman of color yeah. or a high position. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. They will only put white brothers and sisters in position yeah. to suppress People of color. That's right. That's nothing but a church plantation. That's right. Yeah. Amen. That's a church plantation. That's right. Amen. Here I am, a runaway slave that Run comes away. back to your plantation. I'll burn your church down. That's right. And I'll burn it down with Bible. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell all the slaves, black, white, brown, yellow, red, come over here on the Lord's side. That's right. That's it. Wonderful, brother. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? That's why, they, that's why they say that man is crazy. That's right. Why do he say these things? I preach what is true. True. And because I'm not getting paid, yeah. I'm not voted by a board of directors. Yeah. I don't worry about what folk think. Any time we preach what's written and you cringe, yeah. then obviously the word of God stuck you. That's right. You see, the Bible is called a sword. That's right. Any time you cringe, you have felt. The poking yes, sir. of the scripture. That's right. Eh? That's right. You've been poked, I said. Amen. I said, you've been poked. That's right. Eh? That's why some is squirming. It. That blade is piercing. <laughs> That's right. So it's God. That's right. Come on, son. Isaiah chapter 56 <laughs> and verse 7. <laughs> All right. For mine house. My House. Shall be called a house of prayer. This is God's church for how much? For all people. Let the black, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let God, the brown, the yellow, right. the red, the white, the tan, the cream, the coat, the pecan color. That's right. Walnut, almond, if you're psychedelic. That's right. For some reason, if you're born looking like a tie-dye shirt, you come on to mine house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Mine house. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For how much? For all. All people. I'm all after people. all the people. All people. Why do you think we're traveling like we are? That's right. God, we go among all every color under the every sun. Color. Amen. Amen. And it's beautiful when I look at this morning, this yes. afternoon, look like yes. a flower garden in here. Yeah. All these different colors look representing yeah. God's creation. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mine house. My house. Shall be called a house of prayer. Shall be called a house of prayer. For all people. 
Hallelujah. All people. I'm a fisherman. Oh, oh yes. Eh? You oh, know yes. what a fisherman, when he drop his net, Hallelujah. fish come up all type of come. That's right. That's what I am, a fisherman. Hallelujah. I'm not out trying to Hallelujah. I'm not out trying to catch no one race of fish. No, no. God told me, toss my net. That's right. Take off. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My house. Toss my net. Go oh, ahead. Hey. God, when I pull my net in, yes. I see African, I see Australian, right. I see Samoan, and Fiji Island, and right. Indian, and Jamaican, and right. Cambodian, and Japanese, and That's Chinese. Right. I'm just keep fishing, you keep know. Keep fishing, go ahead. Take God. For my house, my house shall be called in the house of prayer. Go ahead, take God. Shall be called. Hallelujah. Call in house of prayer. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take God. Hallelujah. Shall be called. And house of prayer. A house of prayer. For for all people. Amen. That's why he got us traveling like this. Oh, yes. He made me, and God told his apostles, That's right. ye shall catch, catch men. Men. Catch men. That's right. Amen. He made me an apostle. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I heard God's voice. Wonderful, wonderful. God, when he stopped me in my track, you know. Wonderful. Said I have a penalty thee for this purpose. This purpose. To make thee a minister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He made me an apostle. Yes, he did. And then taught me how to fish. That's right. We can go in any, anywhere. Any, anywhere. Anywhere. Victory is ours before we get there. That's right. It'll take some men 20, 30, 40, 50 years. To build up the congregation. Oh, yes. When we go somewhere, we got a congregation instant like coffee. That's right. Last night alone, 60 souls in one night. One night. Most men wouldn't baptize that if they pastored 60 years. That's true. It's the Lord's doing. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's the Lord's doing. Oh, yes. Go so take God. Go back to where we were. Let's get the foundation of it. Back now. in Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 7. Follow me. Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, you wicked things out there. Amen. It's time for you to break off your wicked. Break it off. You got death in front of you and God in back of you. That's right. Choose now. That's right. Choose what you want. That's right. Choose whom you're going to serve, you young serve. man. Young girl, middle age or old. That's right. Choose. Choose. God did not design life no. for you to focus on how much money to make and leave God out. No way. Money not going to get you out the grave. No. Money not going to save you. That's right. The only thing that you're going to need to get into the kingdom of God yeah. is God. That's right. Money, money has its place in life. But money won't help you. Won't help you. You know the way these false prophets preach money, they got you thinking the more money you give, the more blessings you receive. It ain't like that at all. Uh, that's the right. The greatest offering that you can give the Lord don't Amen. come from your wallet. That's Amen. right. The greatest offering you can give the Lord is you. That's right. That's right. I want to say, well, what about prosperity, Pastor Jennings? This junk that these men preach. It's not prosperity, it's racketeering. That's it. True prosperity is have nothing to do with land. That's right. It has nothing to do with money. That's right. It has nothing to do with cars. That's right. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Thus saith the Lord. You don't know God, you're poor. That's right. You don't know God, you're a fool. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you got a private jet. Mm -hmm. When you die, what you going to do with that jet? What you going to do with it? If you got a Rolls Royce and you got a, a sectional couch for chairs in that Rolls Royce. Amen. You only can sit in one place at a time. That's right. I don't care nothing about that mess. <laughs> That's eh? right. Thus saith the Lord. Listen at this. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Follow me and get this. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. I don't care nothing about you went to Bible school, cemetery school. That's right. You got your PhD, DD. School don't make preachers. No. No, you think you're something because you got a PhD. That's why you just, listen brothers and sisters, that's what it means when you go to a church mm -hmm. and you see the preachers with a robe on. You ever see them and got them three stripes on the arm? Right. That means he's a doctorate. Right. Mm -hmm. He's claiming he's a doctor, but he can't perform biblical surgery. That's right. He can't cut scripture. That's right. I care nothing about your little paper. Amen. I received letters from out of Florida from some cemetery school and uh, offered me an honorary doctorate of divinity. Mm. And I didn't respond to him, and they kept sending it. Kept mm. sending it. Want to give me an honorary doctorate of divinity. I don't need that paper to be a preacher. <laughs> That's right. Amen. God made me a preacher. That's right. I take that doctrine of divinity and make you eat it up. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. Amen. Why? Because the Bible is against 
the wisdom of men. Wisdom the of Bible men. said, let not the wise man. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Do you hear this? Let in Do you Jer hear this? Jeremiah, Come on, son. Jeremiah 9 and verse 23. Let not the wise man. Glory in his wisdom. Don't glory in your education. Nothing wrong with having education, but education without God is unprofitable. That's right. Eh? Neither let the mighty man. Don't let the mighty man. Glory in his might. God, glory in his might. Let not the rich man. Don't let the rich That's man. Right. Glory in his riches. That's why it's glory not a glory. sin to be rich. Right. The sin is when riches possess you. That's right. That's, that's right. the sin. That's the sin. Oh, man, you can own a mansion. You can own a fleet of cars. Yeah. But if that stuff possess you, yeah. you're in trouble. That's right. Because Jacob was rich. That's right. Abraham was rich. Yeah. Solomon was rich. Amen. So it's not a sin to be rich. That's right. Depending upon how you got it. Mm. He that gather riches and don't do it right, you die a fool. That's right. All right. Let not the rich man glory in his, wi in his but riches, what? but let him that glorieth glory let him in that this. Glory. What shall we glory in, William? That he, un that he understandeth and knoweth me. He understand and know God. That I am the Lord. Wait a minute. Mm. This is the greatest and most important place of life. That's right. That you may understand. That he understandeth and knoweth me. And know us. Me. Oh, Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. No singular? That he understandeth and knoweth me. And if you don't know God as being him, me, me one. Th that I. That I. We that I still got to know one. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know one, your education, you're still an educated fool. That's right. Uh -huh. That I am that the Lord. I, I am the Lord. Am the Lord. Which exerciseth loving kindness. Which exercise mercy. Judgment. Judgment. And righteousness in the and earth. Right doing. For in right deeds in the earth. For in these things I delight. Wait a minute. Amen. I want you preachers that are listening to get this. That's right. You that's going around telling the people. God wants you to be rich right now. It is God's will that nobody be poor. Every preacher that said that blaspheme. Blasphemy. Who right. said what, Pastor Jennings? If you ever went to any church and heard any pastor, I don't care if it's your father, your grandfather, your son, your uncle, or your lying mama. That's right. That claimed to be a woman preacher. That's right. And you heard anybody say, it isn't God's will. Yeah. God don't want nobody to be poor. They have told an outstanding lie on the Bible. St. John chapter 12 and at verse 8. Because Jesus told us otherwise. For the poor always ye have with you. You better give chapter and verse again and book. St. John chapter 12. And we're at verse 8. Jesus said what? For the poor always ye have with you. If he said you're going to have the poor with you always, they're going to be here until the Lord come. That's right. Always. 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 That's right. And if the Lord said always, always is always. That's right. That's it. For the poor always. Always. Ye have with you. It's going to be poor folk always. Always. That's right. Any preacher come along and say, God don't want nobody to be poor. That's his personal hype. That's right. It's nothing but a hype talk. That's let's right. Let's come on back to Bible. For the poor. Yeah, let's come on back to Bible. That's it. Let everybody, glory be to God of Abraham, come on back to Bible. That's right. And do what the word of God say do. That, that's right. If you can't do it the way God said it, you stay out of church. Stay out of church. Just stay out of church. Out. Don't right. even rub up against the church. And if you do, don't even look back and see what you rub up against. That's right. You got to come back and do it the way the word of God said or stay home and go to hell from home. Back in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Get this. Let the wicked forsake his way. It's time to break off your wickedness, Seattle, Washington. That's, that's uh -huh. right. And the unrighteous man. And, and, and the unrighteous, the sinner man. His thoughts. Wait a minute. The sinner man got to get rid of what? And let the, unri and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Now you got to stop thinking the way you think, sinner man. That's right. That's right. The center man hear me break up fornication. He say, look, man, look. that stuff is too good for me to stop. Amen. Amen. Send a man tell me, hear me bring Bible, cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh. flesh. Send a man say, come on, Pastor Dennis. God, look, look, I don't, I, I don't want, I'm, I'm not into that. <laughs> I, I'm not into that. That's you? Right. Who you. are you? That's right. That's right. Man, let me tell you what you are. Mm -hmm. How many here ever seen a bubble form on water, then pop? Yeah. Raise your hand. Do you know what make that bubble form on water? Yeah. Just air. That's it. Man, you are equal 
to that little bubble on water. That's right. When the air leaves, the bubble disappears. That's right. The breath that is in your body is what got you functioning. That's it. And when God snatched that breath, just like the bubble pop, yeah. you will pop. Oh, yeah. You will no longer exist. That's right. Man, you think it's something because you got your house paid off. You still don't own it. Right. 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 That's right. right. Because now you got a great bill to pay. Oh, yeah. God is calling for your life. That's right. You out here think it's something because you got about 13 kids mm. by 15 different women. Amen. You think it's something. You think you're God gifted women because you's a male hoe. That's right. And all nations before him. You think it's something because the men cater to you, sister, like flies laying on dung. That's right. You better stay in mind that breath is just in your old nostrils. Soon God is going to snatch your breath and your body going to be left in bed, left in the bathroom, left in the tub, drop on the floor of your right. kitchen, lay there next to some man that ain't your husband, That's right. fall at your laptop, go ahead, man. in your car, go ahead, wherever. go ahead, go ahead, take God wherever you're at, wherever you're at, he gonna snatch that breath, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17, that's what, all nations before him, all nations, all nations before him, before God, are as nothing, you're nothing, and they are counted to him, and they're counted to God, Less than nothing. You're less than nothing, brother. That's right. Sister. That's right. Brother, what is it that make you want to go out there and join a gang and carjack somebody? Yeah. What is it? Why do you feel like a man? <clears throat> Why it take you to pack a 38 mm -hmm. or 45? That's right. To make you feel like a man. Right. What is it that make you want to put a red cloth in your head or a blue cloth? That's right. That, uh, that make you be a member of some gang that make you feel like a man? That's right. What is it that make you want to wear your pants down and advertise your booty like you's a male prostitute that make you feel like a man? That's right. That's right. It ain't a man that's a real man advertise his butt. No. No. Not a real man. You a real man? Amen. Or are you gay? Mm. Or are you a sissy? Right. Because a real man don't advertise his behind. That's right. Unless you're making a neighborhood booty call. That's right. Am I right? Amen. 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 Something wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that. You from the hood. Yeah. Strolling. Yeah. Showing your booty. That's right. That don't go together. Yeah, that don't go together. You hard. That's right. You strolling yeah. with your hair in two plaits yeah. and bangs. That's right. Oh, you got a man bun like That's a right. girl. That's right. Wearing your mama bobby pin. Go ahead. With your pants hanging down. That's right. Showing your booty. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. You mixed up. Yeah. See, when I came from the hood, if we wore high top shoes called left hooks. Yeah. Stacy Adams. Yeah. We may have our bottom pants, leg of our khakis rolled up. Mm -hmm. May throw on a jacket and a cap. Yeah. You know? And uh, our pants was buckled. Yeah. They were, right. There wasn't fake hoodlums. Right. There was real hoodlums. Real hoodlums. You know, they walk. Yeah. Stroke. Yes, sir. That's how you that's real hoodlums. When you got your pants hanging down, yeah. there's a switch in one of your cheeks. You can't even stroll right. That's right. You try to stroll. That's right. That's right. There's a dip in your split. That's right. That's right. A man may be known by his look. A man may be known. May be known by his look. So what are you? What a are you? Faggot or what? That's right. That's right. That's right. If a girl is seen walking the street advertising her behind there, call her a hoe. Yes, they would. Now, what you think you look like? That's right. You That's think true. you like a man? My lord. You look like a male whore. That's right. A long hair, but advertising male whore. That's right. Am I right, I said? Yeah. Hallelujah. And 
you wonder why gay men looking at you mm. walk That's by right. you. How you doing? That's right. <laughs> and you want to fight them. That's right. right. You want to fight them and show them your behind. Yeah. My Lord. Make up your mind. That's right. Either you're a man or a woman. Right. Yeah. Right. Choose ye. Choose ye. This day. That's right. How you going to serve. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19, verses 29 and 30. Follow me. A man may be known by his look. A man hmm. may be known by his look. By his appearance. And one that hath understanding. One that hath understanding. By his countenance. By his countenance. When thou meetest him. When you meet him. A man's attire. A man's clothing. And excessive clothing, laughter. And excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. Show wow. what he is. What he is. Here you are walking the streets, pants hanging down, laughing. A bunch of booty that's, boys. That's right. On the corners. <laughs> that's right. All of y'all showing y'all behind. That's right. The booty boys. The booty boys. That's what you are. That's right. Your daddy, your son, Go ahead. your brother, your uncle, yeah. your pastor, your deacon, your choir member. That's right. Bunch of booty boys. Booty boys. <laughs> Amen. The booty boy church. The booty, that's right. Booty boy, deacon boy. That's right. And you want to be respected as a man. Amen. Who in a right mind going to take you serious? Yeah. Advertising your butt. That's right. You think you're a man? My lord. You ain't no man. No. You's a booty boy. That's right. Remember that. That's right. Write that down. Take right, it home with write you. Write it down. <laughs> booty boy. That's right. That goes for anybody here. That's right. You wear your pants like that, you's a booty boy. That's a booty boy. If you're an old man, you's a booty grandpa. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Uh, a man may be known by his look. The Bible speaks plain here. In Ecclesiastes Anyone 19 and verse 29 know and 30. That this is the truth. If a girl was outside like that, they'd call her a whore. They'd call her a prostitute quick. Yes, they would. She won't get no honor. That's right. No respect. Yeah. She'd get picked up, done what's done, right. toss her back in the street. That's true. How do you think you look, fella? That's right. Let's, keep, let's, let's make it an even playing field. That's right. What makes you think you look like a man yeah. with your behind showing and she just look like a whore? That's right. Amen. You look like a male whore. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Satan had designed clothing and style. Go ahead, brother. Take away the masculinity from the man. That's right. And you fell for it. That's right. Amen. Good teaching, brother. Now you want to wear ponytail. Right. Now you want to wear skin tight jeans. That's right. Now you want to wear your pants hanging down. Yeah. Now you want to wear a tank top. That's right. Now you want to arch your eyebrows. Yeah. You oh, want yes. to have your nails shining. Yeah. Like a handful of reflectors. That's right. That's right. God said he made man. That's right. Man, I'm glad God made me a man. Brother. Yeah. God made me a man. Oh, yes. Nothing gay about me. No, no. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? A man may be known by his look. That's why these men won't preach this. No. Because they got the choir full of flowers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Wall to wall flowers wall. just singing. That's He's right. mine, mine, mine. <laughs> she, my head just bobbing like a boggle head. That's right. Go ahead, man. Gay men run revival in Pentecostal churches. Yeah. So-called apostolic churches now waving rainbow flags. That's right. And these old lazy pulpit bums because of their love for money. Yeah. Will say nothing. That's right. The churches have become a doghouse. Oh, yes. It's no longer a house of prayer for all, all people. people. It's a doghouse. That's right. That's right. And let me show you how God people feel about it. Mm. Jeremiah, yeah. I believe chapter 4 chapter and verse four, 30, verse if 30. I'm correct. That's right. Let me see how spoiled, how used to the trash people have gotten. That's right. Amen. Follow me in your Bible Je and see if that's what I want. Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. All right, son. And when thou art spoiled, uh -oh. 
What wilt thou do? When you what? When thou art spoiled. Spoiled. What wilt thou do? You know, that's the problem with the people. Yeah. They're spoiled. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. It's like having a parent that raised a child and let the child do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. Don't believe, you know, today they tell you don't beat the child. That ain't what God said. No. God said beat it. Beat the child. Yeah. That's right. Hey, Amen. When I came up, we wasn't allowed to put our shoes on or run across the couch with shoes on and go in the refrigerator with dirty hands, interrupt our elders when they talk. That's right. Hit back at our parents. Not that. No. Oh, we back talk your mama, back talk your father. That's right. We wasn't allowed to do that. That's right. We saw kids back talk, back talking their parents. But when I came up, the parents didn't say that was cute. No, no, no the, the, the mama took your picture <laughs> with her hand. That's right. All you saw was a flash. Amen. <laughs> yeah. That's all you saw. And it's, a, it's amazing how she hits you without even looking at you. That's right. And she's just still walking. Bye. She saw a flash. Instant. You got developed. Developed. <laughs> You got developed. That's it right. was a Kodak moment. That's yeah. right. Glory to God. Withhold not correction from the child. Do you hear this? In Proverbs chapter 23 and verse oh, 13. Oh, we're living in a wicked time, a wicked yes, time. Everything has changed. Oh, yes. And it has changed for the worse. That's right. That's why the word of God says, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Oh, yes. The churches don't put quiet and hush, hush about sin. That's true. Because all they want is the crack. Out, so the preacher don't have to work and get all the money. So what you have, wall-to-wall -wall motivational speakers, you don't have wall-to-wall -wall preachers. That's right. That's right. You just got motivational. All these men in mega churches, they one of them is a preacher. No. Here, 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 here now. No, no. I said not one. Not one. It ain't a mega preacher out here. That's right. They ain't nothing but motivational pimps. That's all. Tell you stuff that make you feel good in your sin. That's right. You're comfortable. You're relaxing in your That's sin. That's right. Spoil, Spoil. Read the Bible. God sent men as warners. Oh, yes. God ain't never sent a man to pat you on the back about your wrong. No. God come along and send a man and give him the word and put him in his mouth to put fear in you, make you run. Go ahead. Run! That's right. Because the judgment of God was coming. That's right. And the judgment of God is not only coming upon America, but it's coming upon the whole world. That's right. And he sent me, glory to God, ahead of his judgment Preach to it. tell you to run. That's right. Run out from your sin and run to God. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over take off. What is that? Back in Jeremiah 4 and verse 30. Come on, son. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? When you are ruined. You know, mm. when you spoil a person, you ruin them. Oh, yes. They're all rotten because they want to have their way. Yes. Yes. Amen. Child can't have their way. Hit back at mommy and start crying and wallowing it all on the floor. Man, when I came up, my mother and father said no. Yeah. We couldn't fall on no floor and wallow. No. 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 If we dreamed of doing it. <laughs> They came in a dream and beat you. That's right. <laughs> you had a dream you was getting a beating at the same time. Amen. You go in the supermarket. Mother be telling the son, Billy, stop. He said, no. That's true. Billy, I said, stop. He hit a pop. No. That's right. Billy, you're, you're bad. You're bad. And he tell her, I don't care. Shut up. That's true. That's Man, true. if that was us. You'll find us in the shopping cart. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You'll think it's a shopping cart full of groceries. No, we in there. That's right. Looking. Yeah? That's right. Oh, it take God. Did you hear this? And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? What would you do? Though right? thou, mm. thou closest thyself, closest thyself, thyself with, with crimson, crimson. crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. What else? Though thou rinnest thy face with pain. What profit is it with? In vain, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. You fed. look good in vain. Thy Your lovers will despise you. They will seek thy life. All right, let's go to work. Let's give this now. Come Back on. in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked leave off his wicked ways. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the unrighteous man you better lay aside the way you think. You may as well stop thinking That's that right. what you're doing is right. What you're doing is wrong. You are an embarrassment to God. That's right. I want to say to every man under the sun, do you know that we were made for God's glory? For God's glory. And God made man in his image and his likeness. Yeah. That's not just narrowed down to the man's shape yeah. or the man form or the man fashion. Yeah. Because you can have the form of God but still not made in God's image. That's right. When you're made in God's image, it's bigger than your shape. Yeah. You got to have the characteristics of God. Yeah. You got to have God's 
character to yeah. go along with the shape. That's right. You can have the shape, but don't have the character. So right. therefore, you're out of character, but yet you hold the image. That's right. And you defile the image when your character don't meet up to God's character. That's right. Eh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his way. Lay down your cigarette. Lay down your gambling. Lay down your lottery playing. That's right. Your brothers got to cut your hair because the Bible said the shame for a man to have long hair. That's right. You got to lay aside your rouge on your face. You got to get rid of your lipstick. Forsake his way. Trying to make him look so pink here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's the right. man got to lay aside his eye shadow. Got to pull your pants up. That's it. Just face the fact you're not a woman. That, that's oh, it. Pastor Jennings, I'm confused. I'm confused. Right. Oh. Oh. It's so dramatic. <laughs> it's so dramatic. That's right. You're a thinker directly in front of him that says, action. Yeah. Oh. That's right. I don't know what I want right. to be. You don't know what Woe I want to be. That's right. Woe right. is me. That's right. You don't know what you are. I'll tell you what, what you, you do. Go in your bathroom, stand in front of the mirror, buck naked. Buck naked. And guess look down. Then you say, I'm a man. That's right. I'm a man, I say. That's right. <laughs> You look at your naked behind, you get revelation. That's right. You know what you are. That's right. Am I right? Let the wicked you know, I'm gonna make it. I'm going to make it so plain. You can't be dumb and use that as an excuse. That's right. You don't know what you are, just stand in front of the mirror stand naked. In front of the mirror. If you can't get it by the first five minutes, just keep walking back and forth. Look. You will understand. Oh, we take God. Come on, Wayne. Let the wicked forsake <laughs> his way. Oh, this is a good gospel. Yes, it is. What did he say, son? Let the wicked forsake his way. You long hair, plat wearing men, yeah. ponytail wearing men. Yeah. When I'm talking to a man, I expect if I'm talking to a woman, you know, she may do like this yeah. while she's talking. Yeah. Not a man. Not a man. Every time I'm talking, you shaking your head like you got Tourette's. <laughs> That's right. Shaking your head. That's right. Mm. Well, Pastor Jennings, you know, I enjoy what you, I enjoy what you preach. Mm. Mm. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? God made man. That's right. Do it not even nature itself teach yeah, 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 yeah. Give chapter and verse for this. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. I see the Bible. Don't you hear the Bible say, forsake your thoughts, brother? That's right. Forsake your thoughts. Forsake when your you thoughts. When you forsake your thoughts, you don't follow what the world do. That's right. Jesus said, do not after their works. That's right. That means don't do like they do. Amen. Now listen at what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. I want all my long-haired men that are watching and listening, Amen. get this. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. Says what? Doeth not even nature itself do teach you? Doeth not nature teach you. That if a man, that if a man have long hair, have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Shame. No, it's cool. It is a shame unto him. It's a style. It is a shame yeah. unto him. It's cute. It is a shame yeah. unto him. His old dirty girlfriend like to play in his old nappy hair. It is a shame, shame. unto him. Shame. shame. It's a shame, Pastor. Amen. Amen. If, if it's a shame in God eyes, yeah. right. why you ain't embarrassed? That's right. right. That's right. Why are you not embarrassed? You know why? You don't know better. Don't know better. But brother, you let God come. You let the Lord come and take you with all that long hair like a woman. My Lord. After you hear this message, you're going to go to hell. That's right. You mean to tell me I go to hell for having long hair, Pastor Jennings? If God say for you not to do something right. and you do it, you who do are it. you? Amen. Imagine if I came in here to Seattle, Washington with my hair hanging down. Yeah. Both of us, Pastor. Me and we. Both of us. <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> imagine that? Imagine that. Brother introduced me and folks don't notice when I walk in, I'm sitting back here. That's right. When I get up, we bear witness. That's right. There's no God but one. That's right. There's no God with them. Amen. No God beside them. That's right. Huh? That's right. Williams, what the Bible says. That's right. You understand? Hey, shake my right. hand. Read the Bible. What does it say? That's right. That's right, brother. Are you listening? Amen. Don't you see what society is trying to do to our men? Oh, yeah. Society wants to take away your manhood. That's it. And when society That's strip it, man. you of your manhood, there's nothing out there for a woman to respect. That's right. Go ahead. Man. And when you got that mentality, you teach your children, children that there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So now generation after generation right. of boys coming up right. never be full men. That's right. Because you robbed them right. of their manhood. Amen. Through ignorant 
teaching. That's right. You got them looking like a woman. You dress your son up. Look at the way the young people are today. Yeah. Talk about giving your children the right to decide mm. whether they want to be a boy or That's a right. girl. What a fool. What a fool. What a fool. God made that decision. That's right. So you got the parents say, well, That's right. we don't want to call them him or her. Or her. We'll call our children they. They. Or them. Mm. They or them. They or them. One person come in the house. They, you want to eat? <laughs> That's right. They, I'm fixing dinner. They, you want dinner? They. Yes, mom. Mm. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So That's him, right. go ask his sister. I can I borrow a pair of your underwear? I haven't been to the laundry yet. Ooh. And the sister's comfortable. Here. That's right. That's something, man. Here he's. That's something. A hundred and sixty-five pounds. I'm gonna make this so plain. <laughs> and she gave him a pair of her underwear. <laughs> and asked her brother, My Lord, will these do? <laughs> oh yeah, they had nice red, they had nice red. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. And he, he got to use butter, Vaseline, and margarine right. just to slide in torn. That's right. And here's your hell-deserving parents. Yeah. Don't see nothing wrong with that perversion. Amen. And these weak, sissy-fighted churches. Yeah. Along with the government of America itself. Right. Don't see nothing wrong with it. See nothing wrong with it. And you know what they say about Pastor Jennings? He don't preach with love. Yeah. You know why? I'm like the grandpapa. That's right. You know when that young child got inexperienced parents and inexperienced parents let the child run all around and tear up everything. Yeah. No discipline. Yeah. But then when that child go to grandma and grandpa house. Oh yeah. Grandma and say, honey, did you go in that refrigerator? You ain't wash your hands. That's right. Get your feet off that couch. That's right. Sit down. Yeah. Take your fingers out your mouth. Yeah. Wash your hands. Yeah. Take your bath. Yeah. And they ain't used to that discipline. Not used to so it. So right away, that child gonna say, I wanna go home. <laughs> That's right. I want my mommy. Yeah. You know what? What he's really saying, I want freedom. That's right. Go ahead, take God. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. I want freedom. That's right. Let freedom ring. Amen. I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. And that's exactly the way the churches have done. The churches have spoiled the choir, have spoiled oh, yes. the preachers, have spoiled the pulpit. That's why any old type of preacher come in the church yeah. and preach any old lying message. And the preacher don't check behind what the man believes. The man will lie to the people, just excite the people. Yeah. Got the people running all around the church, slapping hands on them, pushing them down. That's right. Nobody's not interested. It was coming out that man's mouth. That's right. And when thou art spoiled, when you're spoiled, what wilt thou do? We don't tolerate nothing but Bible. No. Huh? Amen. Ain't no man coming in here running some revival. He ain't standing on that book. No. On it, he gonna get revived right out of here. That's right. If I won't tolerate it from preachers that's with me, you know I ain't gonna tolerate it from men out there. No way. We believe that God people should eat nothing but scripture. That's it. Someone asks you, what you eating? Scripture. Scripture. What it tastes like? Well, this one is bitter. That's right. Why? Because I don't want to obey it. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's bitter. Bitter. It's bitter to that man. Got to give up that second wife and he oh, loves her. Oh, yeah. Got her name on the deeds of that house. Oh, yes. Got that bank account together, that car together. Yeah. He done bought her everything, and yet his first wife is still living. Right. And now he got that second wife living together, and she's living good. And God Almighty, come tell that rascal you're bound by the law long as your husband lives. And he's like, oh, my Lord, yeah. what I'm going to do? If you want to get into the kingdom of God, yeah. you're going to do the do the do what the Bible says. <laughs> That's right. That's what you're going it, it's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt, but I got to preach it. That's right. I said, I got the preacher. That's oh, right. yes, I got. I can't help it. I didn't write this stuff. Amen. I got the preacher, and, I, and, and I'd rather have you mad at me than God. Oh, yeah. See, you mad at me ain't worrying about it because I'm catching a plane today anyway. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man, I'm catching a plane and getting out of here. That's right. You may, I may leave you at the airport. You better not come back. <laughs> I'm on a plane. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right. But I can't do that to God. No. Oh, thank God the Bible said if I go into heaven, he's there. He's there. If I lay my bed in he's hell, there. God is there. That's right. Amen. He's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. That's right. That's why my preaching, I have to make sure it's in keeping with God everlasting word. That's right. I don't ever want to be at odds with God. No. But any member of the human family, I will be at odds with you with great joy That's right. and happiness. That's right. And Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, see, Adam, are you ready to stop your ways? Amen. And what else? And the unrighteous man, his thoughts. The righteous man, the unrighteous, unrighteous man, man, the wicked, the sinner. You may as well lay aside the way you feel about things. And let him return unto the Lord. What? Let him return unto the Lord. In order to return to the Lord, you had to leave him. You had to leave right. him. And many of you left the Lord years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, you left the Lord. Oh, yes. And the reason why you left the Lord, some was doing pretty good. Yeah. And then as many churches, have you ever been in the church that was small and it was pretty strict? Yeah. Held very firm standard. Then all of a sudden when the church started growing and started growing, started growing, getting bigger and getting bigger and getting bigger, have you noticed things start to come in that the preacher used to preach against? Oh, yeah. That's right. And now the church become just like the world. Yeah. And this is why it shocks so many people to see all these hundreds of folk everywhere we go, and yet the preaching is consistent. That's right. Tough. That's right. Rough. Oh, yes. Uh, I remember when I started out where I only had about 12 to 15 people yeah. preaching in the basement of my home of my mother and father. Yeah. Amen. And then things began to grow larger and larger and larger. And then we went to Briar Road and rented the place and God put us over the air and filled that place up, then sent us to Frankfurt Avenue, outgrew that, right. then yeah. took us to Lindley Avenue, over 200,000 square feet, and by the time we get to the manual auditorium, they probably won't fit in that. That's right. right. It, it just keep growing by hundreds and now turn into thousands. That's right. And people are shocked to say, you mean to tell me all those people following that? Amen. And he still won't change? Yeah. The one said, why won't you change, Pastor Janice? Yeah. That's, that's right. I'm scared of hell. That's right. I mean, I'm scared to death of hell. Oh, yes. It get hot yeah. in the south. Yeah. It get, it, I mean, I, I've been in some heat when I'm in India. I've been in India, 108, 109, 110, 111 degrees, and the humidity was the same. Lord. Burning hot. Have you ever seen heat like waves in the air? Mm. Burning. And here I'm preaching. In the heat. In the heat. It's just as hot at night as it is in the day. My Lord. I have no intentions on going to hell. No way. Mm -mm. Me and hell don't get along. No. Not at all. We're not friends. We're not buddies. That's right. Not at all. Even though there are benefits in hell. Someone said, what? Oh, yes, there's free heat. <laughs> yes, there's, all the heat is free. Free. Like, you don't have to pay no light bill because it ain't no light. It's darkness. That's right. And you go for a free ride. You fall. A free fall, long as God remain God. That's right. Never have to worry about eating, because nope. you don't eat. Nope. God give your physical body all the feelings it has now. Yeah. And God, by his creating power, takes the flesh you got now yeah. and make it everlasting, everlasting. So it never burn up. That's right. It's just continuous torture. That's right. Falling, torment, day and night with the flames that represent the anger of God wrapped around your body tighter than the skin around your bones. My Lord, my Lord. And every evil you've done that you was too arrogant, yeah. too proud, yeah. too self-centered to repent for, yeah. you're going to remember yeah. while you're falling in hell. That's right. That's Holding right. on to a belief because you are traditionalist. Yeah. And your belief didn't coincide with the Bible. Yeah. You're going to remember, remember while you're falling. Falling in hell. That's right. That God gave you time to change. Yeah. And you was too worried about giving up your cheap position. Right. You loved your title too much to change. That's right. You thought you was too cute to change. Yeah. You thought you had too much yeah. money to change. That's right. But when you in hell, you're going to try to change, but your change won't help you. Let the wicked forsake his way. I'm trying to encourage you to break off your way. Break up your folly ground. That's right. That's why the Bible said let the wicked do what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake. Leave. Right. Break it off. Let the wicked forsake his Lord, way. God forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his and thoughts. And the unrighteous man the way he thinks. And let him return let him unto come the Lord. Back to God. And he will have mercy upon him. That's what I want. That's it. I That's want it. God's 
Mercy. God's Amen. mercy. And that's what you want? Yes. Amen. Do you know that's why you're still here? Oh, yes. Do you know that's why you're living? That's right. Only because God's mercy. That's it. There's nothing so good about nobody here, nobody listening, nobody watching. That's right. That's, that's right. why I tell the viewers, when you hear people make comments just to distract you from the message and want to get you into an argument, let them, let them make all the comments they want. Yeah. You pay attention to the message. That's, that's it. Right. Let the devil do all the talking, all the debating, all the cussing. Let them call. They call me everything over there. Yeah. Some people log on just to cuss me out. Some <laughs> say, I want to see what this Antichrist is saying now. <laughs> Pastor, some, one person said, I just log on to say, Pastor Jenner is a false prophet. My Lord. But they don't miss the message. My Lord. They don't miss the message. Amen. So I tell the viewers, don't ever argue with no one if they say Pastor Jennings ain't right, Pastor Jennings of the devil, Pastor Jennings is wrong, Pastor Jennings is the antichrist, Pastor Jennings. Don't, don't respond to nobody. That's right. You get this message in you. That's so it. you can escape from where they're going. And let him return unto the Lord. Come on back. To the Lord. To the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. That's what I want. Hallelujah. I want God mercy. And to That's our why you living right now. That's right. So you don't watch it you're living by God's mercy. You ain't living, still living because you cute. No. Because you think you handsome. Because you got money. Who cares what Who you cares? got? When you die, your money don't get you out the casket. That's right. You can get a casket made out of pure gold. And man, let, let them hand cut your casket in Fort Knox itself. Amen. Melt gold and put it in a mold and let a casket come out. Hmm. Let them line the inside of your casket with silk worms. That's right. And let the worms continue to spin the silk while you're in it. Amen. Amen. Let butterflies come down and put clothes on you and burn. And let alligators. You ain't got to wear alligator shoes. Put real alligators on your feet. My Lord. Yeah. My Lord. And then lay you in a casket and have the lay biggest in choir that. in the world. <laughs> let celebrities say nice things about you. Let celebrities who won rewards put the rewards down in the ground with you. Their Oscars, their gold albums, and everything. Let, let them sign the autograph. That's right. All on the casket. Be buried. In the tomb of kings, mm. ancient pharaohs, and then let them dig you up and lay you next to some of the popular presidents of a wicked country of America. My Lord. Let them dig you up again and lay you next to some queen that you don't know nothing about. Yeah. But after all that traveling, all when that the time. Lord our God yes, comes, the King of kings, that's right. Lord, to God the Lord of lords, Lord of Lord. and when he call you in judgment, mm. and you have not repented of your sins, and you wasn't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you refuse the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. You just hung out in some church That's right. or every, every other Sunday or every lying Easter day yeah. or every hypocrite and celebration of Christmas that come around. That's just right. think you've done God a favor and you didn't obey God. Amen. Hell. Hell. Everlasting. Hell. Imagine standing before the throne of God. Mm. Then you try to tell God how you fed the poor and you gave money to UNICEF. Money and you helped the Red Cross and all that. God say, I never knew you. Never knew you. Depart from me. That's right. Sinner. That's right. Your workers of iniquity, get away from me. Matthew chapter 7 and adverse. But Lord, I was a Republican. I was a Democrat. Get away from me. That's right. Depart. But Lord, I passed the churches and I built them. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I preach you are the second person in the Godhead. That's right. Depart from me. Depart from me. Everybody got to come back to the Bible and do it right or you're going to go to hell. That's right. One man said, I hate Pastor Jenny because he always talk about hell. That's right. <laughs> That's you right. might as well hate the Bible then. Amen. You might as well hate the Bible. I'm sent to warn you. Yeah. I'm not sent to be your friend. You think I came to Seattle, Washington to make friends? <laughs> I came all the way to this old wicked state and this ungodless city to tell the sinner to get right get with right. God or perish. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Let the wicked forsake oh, his way. God and everything in Seattle that don't want to go to hell, they're going to obey this message. Yes, they will. Ain't no maybe so about it. Come take God. They're going to obey this message God knew. That's right. All right, son. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked get away from his way. And the unrighteous the man unrighteous his thoughts. His thought. And let him return unto the let Lord. Him come on back to God. And he will have mercy God upon him. have mercy if you come and, back to him. And to our God, for he to will abundantly God, pardon. Will ab Wait a minute. God will abundantly, abundantly pardon. The reason why He will abundantly pardon you because you've done an abundant amount of wrong. That's right. And you need a whole lot of forgiveness. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Because one thing about sin, it pile up like snow. Oh yes. Eh? Oh yes. And nobody can pardon you like God can. Come That's on, William. For my thoughts. Uh oh. My thoughts. God talking. For God talking. 
God talking, never right. mind Geno Jennings. That's right. You waste your time getting mad at me. I didn't write the Bible. That's right. You think I would write the Bible? Me, Geno Jennings would write the Bible. Write the Bible. Me. <laughs> this thing hurt me. Oh, yes, it does. If God left it up to me it to does. write something, you wouldn't even need a cover. It's, that's right. You wouldn't even need two pieces of paper. Amen. Wouldn't be necessary. God told me you got to write something. Amen. Leave it to you, Jennings. You got to write something. For the world to follow. I leave it to you. Do what thou wantest. That's it. That's it. Everybody in the world be doing the boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a boogaloo society. That's right. God left it up to people. They'll get rid of hell. Oh, yes. But see, hell is the consequences of our rejection. And disobedience to God. That's right. See, this is why God wants you to forsake your way. Forsake your way. Because your way would be that Jehovah's Witnesses. Don't kick hell out the Bible. That's right. Hmm? No hell. No hell. Listen, if it, if, if, it rather, if it wasn't no hell, I wouldn't preach. No way. Preach for what? That's right. Travel to preach. Preach. Preach what? Preach what? If it ain't no hell, it ain't no consequences. Right. Yeah. And if it ain't no hell, you won't suffer no wrong for your deeds. That's right. You'll have all the fun you want. Oh, yes. Be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Never mind when, never mind men wearing their pants down. They just walk around with no pants. No, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Never mind pants down. No pants at all. Amen. A no pants society. That's right. Come on, son. Isaiah 55 and verse 8. What is it? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. God say the way I think is not the way you think. Neither are your ways way my ways, your saith the Lord. Your conduct is not like God's conduct. Hallelujah. Let's see the difference. For as the heavens are higher than the earth. Oh, mm. God made it so plain so the fool can grasp it. For as the heavens, as the heavens are higher than the earth. Higher, glory be to God, than the earth. So are my, so ways, are my ways higher than higher your ways. Than your ways. And my thoughts, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Do you think it's all right to have more than one wife? That's right. The Lord said from the beginning it was not so. That's his thoughts. That's his thoughts. You think it's all right? Bow your head and raise your hand. Accept Christ as your personal Savior. That's right. The Lord said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nature beginning at Jerusalem. That's right. Your thought says there are three distinct persons in the Godhead. Yeah. God thought says in Deuteronomy 6 and 4, Hero is your the Lord. Our God is one. One. Your thought says it's impossible for Jesus Christ to be God. That's right. God thought says that uh, blessed and holy is he, or rather give me the book of Titus chapter 2. Titus if I'm chapter correct, 2, yes. Yeah. Verse 13. Verse 13. Yes, I preach Jesus Christ as God, and I preach there is no one God but him. That's right. That you give me uh, Titus 2.13, you better give me Revelation 1.8, 1, 1, 8. where God is talking, where Jesus is talking to himself. That's right. Be quick now. Titus 2 and verse 13. That's what? Looking for that, Looking for that blessed hope. That blessed hope. And, glor and, and the, the glorious, glorious appearing, appearing of the great God. He's what? The great God. He's the great God. And our Savior. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the great God and he's our Savior. And the Savior. Now let's get God, Jesus' testimony personally here. Revelation chapter 1, we'll start at verse 7. Says what? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Wait a minute. Is Jesus coming in the clouds? Yes, Amen. The Bible is talking. He coming in the clouds. And every eye shall see him. No, you're not. You're going to see them. Him. Yeah. All you that's waiting for God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, you're waiting for three up there. Amen. You're going to be disappointed. That's right. That's right. You're just going to see one. Every all, eyes. All it takes is one to throw you in hell. <laughs> that's right. You don't need three to throw you no, in no, hell. That's right. Just one. Amen. Every Trinitarian is as a, as a lie in his belief. Oh, yes. The Bible ain't never said it's a Trinity. No. The word Trinity is not in the Bible. No. The way it comes from, Pastor Genesis, it came from Rome. That's it's right. It's a European belief. That's right. That started in Rome during the time of Constantine. That's it. And the origins came out of the Catholic Church. That's right. Because they didn't understand there was one God. Amen. Right. They come along and say there's three separate and distinct Secret. personalities. You know any time a man or woman has multi-personalities, you're labeled as schizophrenic. <laughs> That's right. Imagine a schizophrenic God. My Lord. Hmm? Behold. Not one mind. That's right. That's it. Listen at this. Revelation chapter 1, we're at verse 7. That's what? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, he. He one. cometh. Come with clouds and every eye. Shall see him. Wait a minute. When every eye, when he come, every eye going to see how many? Him. Yeah. Him. Every eye gonna see what? Every eye shall see him. How in the world you gonna see three in there? Someone got glasses to see three. That's right. Glasses didn't help your vision any. No. No. You used to see three, didn't you, Will? Yes, I did. And that was before he wore glasses. That's right. <laughs> believed it sincerely. He believed it sincerely. Amen. He was a loyalist. Yes. 
He used to fight me over the one God. Yes, I did. Shaking his finger in my face <laughs> like that devil he was. <laughs> Old me, you don't know what you're talking about. We grew up together. I said, show me in the Bible right. that even mentioned the word Trinity. Amen. Here, go to Matthew 20 and 19, <laughs> Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I yeah. said, that's all right. Show me Trinity. Right. He said, it's three there. I said, three what? That's right. I asked him, was it three persons? He said, yeah. I said, say it where the Bible say that. <laughs> Right. He'll look at me. He'll, every time he'll walk away. Uh, and then right. by that night, him and I is in a race running down the street. That's right. Hmm? That's right. And I beat him even racing with my one dog. <laughs> 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 none, none of the three guards can help them <laughs> when we were racing. We ran track, you know. That's right. We ran track and we would run the distance of a hundred yard sprint. Amen. Amen. And my one God will help me win. <laughs> and, and, and he never got help from his three. <laughs> not nothing all when we when he when we were run neck and neck, he had a habit, you know, when we were run and he get close, he would put his tongue out. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. But none of the three could help him. Amen. Lord, God might want to step in and give me boost. <laughs> I leave him and all his three guards behind. <laughs> Amen. All right, come on, you ex-Trinitarian. Read the Bible. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, you can read that with joy now, can't you? Oh, yes. Behold, he. He cometh with clouds. He cometh. He. He cometh. Yes, one. That's right. Coming with clouds. And, and every, every eye, eye shall see him. going to see him. And they also which pierced they, him. Hold on. Who was pierced? Jesus was. Jesus was. And they which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall all wail. All kindreds of the earth shall, shall wail because, of, because him. of him. Because of that same uh, him. Even so, amen. And now him, he going to talk. I am Alpha. I am. Alpha. I am Alpha. And Jesus Omega. Jesus talking. That's right. And Omega. The beginning. Jesus talking. The beginning. And the ending. Jesus talking. The ending. Saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the Lord. What did the Lord say he is? Which is. And. And which was. And. and which is to come. Who did the Lord say he was? The Almighty. And that's what the Lord say he is. That's what you better say. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Hallelujah. Almighty. 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 You mean to tell me Hallelujah. you know who the Lord is better than himself? Th that's right. Right. If he says he's the almighty, he ain't never said he's the second person in the Godhead. No. Stop telling that lie on the Lord. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. I, well, one comment I read last night, I had to laugh. I guess it was a man or a woman. I think it said something to the effect, you know, I would love to see Pastor Jenna's knuckles. That man got <laughs> invincible knuckles. The way he <laughs> no, my knuckles is all right. I, I, I don't know. I done built calluses on them for so long now. It just don't bother me. <laughs> All right, come on, where's my thoughts? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Human family, Seattle, Washington, I'm here to give you the thoughts of God. That's it. The Apostle Paul declared, let this mind be in you. Yes. That's also in Christ Jesus. That's right. And that's what the word of God is here for, that it may bulldoze our mind out. Amen. You know, I love building an architect, you know, before you build anything up. You got to tear down all that old property, then bulldoze it and level the land. That's right. Hey Amen. We're here in Seattle and I got my wrecking crew. Oh, yeah. I got the prophets and the apostles and we are bulldozing with Bible here. That's right. That we may push off all your belief, all your doctrine, all your religion that you learned through the years. That's right. If it contradict the word of God in any manner. In any manner. We're going to push it off. Oh, yes. We're going to bulldoze it. Oh, yes. And then level out your mind. That's right. And plant something good there. That's right. What is that? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Get rid of your three God belief, your Father, Son, and Holy Ghost baptism, your yeah. women preachers, your women evangelists. Just in case I got any women now, you got your undercover uh, evangelistic license at home that you got from UPC or PAW. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Amen. Or Church of God in Christ or right. uh, Church of Pillar Ground in Truth or Church of God in Prophecy. Any of these fake so-called Christian jackets. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, you bounced around a pulpit in your robe screaming and hollering like you Maud Amy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yelling at men and yelling at grown men and screaming at them. That's right. And they sitting there just as timid as a woman themselves. <laughs> yeah. Praise them, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Praise them. And these are men. Men. Huh? <laughs> so when you sit on a woman preacher so long, you get feminine. Yeah. Right. You pick up that female character. That's right. That's why you see the men sitting there. They, 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 they came in like a man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weeks go by. Months mm -hmm. go by. 
And then years go by. Then metamorphosis starts to change. That's right. They start going through transformation. That's right. Just like a woman. Just like a woman. That's right. They went from, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Help yourself, mother. That's right. Hallelujah. These are men. Men. First was hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. That's it. That's it. The, the, the spirit of God is only in their head. Oh, that's right, that's right. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You see him behind the pews of the church like someone hit him. Pow. <laughs> that's the that's devil, the devil out of hell. That's right. That's right. We come along with Bible and bring you back to your manhood. Oh, yeah. Knock oh, yeah. the sugar out of you. That's right. You take that sugar and dump it. Because Jesus said salt is good. That's right. If the salt glory to God loses Savior, where shall it be seasoned? Amen. All right, son, let's close out here. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. All right, Seattle, this is what you got to do. Forsake your way. Forsake, forsake your, way. your fake salvation of bowing your head and raising your hand. Somebody, you accept Christ. Jesus ain't never told you to bow your head and raise your old yeah. dirty hands. Put your hands down and raise your head up. That's right. What's the matter with you? Anytime you walk the streets of Seattle, watch it and like this, you know someone is putting something over on you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Jesus ain't never told you to bow your head and raise your hand. No. no. The Bible ain't never said accept Christ as your personal savior. Never. Never. The Bible ain't never tell you join the church and you save. That's right. Come on back to the Bible. Who? Everybody. That's right. Or it's a God Peter said unto them. Repent. Peter was an apostle. God called, God sent, God anointed, God made. Walk with Jesus. Oh, yes. Talk with Jesus. Blessed be God. Handle him. That's right. Watch them. Thank God when he ascended far above all heavens. Yeah. Was there in Jerusalem to receive the blessed Holy Ghost when it fell. That's right. On the day of Pentecost. That's right. And the apostle Peter declared what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Not only Seattle, Washington, but the rest of the world. Oh, yes. You got to repent for your evil now. That's right. You got to repent for all your sins. And be baptized, every one of you. Not sprinkled. Baptized. Not join the church. That's right. You got to be baptized. How much in Seattle? Every one of you. Your mayor, your governor, all the police force. That's mm -hmm. right. Fire department, every prostitute. That's right. That's every gang banger. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. You, 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 you that are here. They yeah. haven't obeyed this. You got this to do. That's right. What is that? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. And what? And be baptized, every one of you. Oh, what? In the name of Jesus Christ. And? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins removed. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I don't want you to go to hell. That's right. And we thank God for this truth. Oh, yes. This is the best thing. This is an act of mercy. Oh, yes. From God alone. That God will bring a message so direct. Now, when we preach the word of God and the word of God hits you, don't think I'm picking with you. No, That's right. I ain't got time to pick with you. I'm just here to slap you over with the Bible. That's right. <laughs> I'm not here to pick with you. I'm just here to just cold slap you with sight. That's I right. I mean, cold slap. You know, in the hood, when there's a thing we call sucker punch. Yeah. Right. A sucker punch is when somebody caught you off guard That's right. and you was not prepared. And when that punch hit you, it registered oh, yeah. every nerve yes. in your body. Yes. That's right. That's why many things we say folks ain't prepared to receive. It. That's yes. true. It hit them and they hit be em. nudging each other behind the chair. Right. Right. They be, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. did you hear right. that? Did right. you hear that? Right. 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 Amen. Hit the one next to them so much when they go home, they got a big bruise. Right. Amen. Right. Right. I'm here to tell you what's right. What's right? The churches of America and the churches of the world are set up by the devil to rob you out your money yeah. and play with you. Right. And you are loyal to these religions. I know because I was in the same predicament. Mm -hmm. I was loyal to that so-called apostolic church. Mm -hmm. My mother and father mortgaged their house twice mm -hmm. for the preacher. Lord. Just to give the preacher money. Mortgage their house twice. Mm -hmm. Just to find out over 40 years later. He was a liar. That's right. Lord, Lord. Enough to make you want to tell. I remember one fella, he's dead now. I was preaching against false prophets, and God delivered him out of the false church. He was an old man. He raised his hand. He was so angry. He said, Pastor Jennings, I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, God, uh, God disapproved of the false prophets. I said, that's right. He said, can I use my 38 to get even with mine? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, you can't do that. 
I said, God will do a quicker job than what you can do. That's right. When that false prophet spent eternity in hell and all the lies he told keep playing back in his head. And he's going to be so sorry for them. And nothing he can do to correct them. That's right. He's going to burn. That's right. Burn. The heat and the fire of America or anywhere in the world. It's not like the heat of hell. No. The fire here can be controlled. Right. And the temperature, you know, it can be measured. Yeah. Hell is a bottomless pit. Bottomless. The flames represent the anger of God, God bitterness. That's right. That he has towards every soul that he sends there. Yeah. The darkness represents the life you live because yeah. you live that darkness of sin. Mm. The bottomless pit of falling throughout eternity represents how long you're going to be punished for your own stiff neck, my Lord, my your Lord. own hard headedness. You will never come out. My Lord. The book of Revelation tells us plainly That's right. where they shall be tormented day and night, day and night. forever right. and ever. In the book of now, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 10. Says what? Revelation 20 and verse 10. Yes. And the devil that deceived them. Wait a minute. Who's doing it? And the devil that deceived them. That's what got you so messed up, young man and young girl. That's right. That's what got you so messed up going through these false churches. Yeah. Hey Amen. Don't know whether to turn to the right or to the left and got you with this fake style. I'm confused. My father said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And, but Pastor Jenna said, Name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Jenna didn't say it. The Bible said it. The Bible said it. it. Jesus said the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's it. And the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. right. No more is my name as son, husband, and father. Yeah. I made this example moreover. I'm a son by birth. I'm a husband by marriage. I'm a father because my wife and I got seven kids. Yeah. Right. If I tell you to do something in my name, are you going to say son, husband, and father? No. No, you're going to say the name Genesis. That's right. Jesus said baptized in the name Amen. of. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Your preacher went and disobeyed. disobeyed. He didn't baptize you in the name of. He can baptize you in the title. Right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost took you down, brought you up. You still ain't baptized. Right. That's right. You're just wet. Right. That's all. You're going to do it, do it like the Bible says. Right. Matthew right. 28, 19, it was told to go do it. Yeah. Acts 2, 38 is where it was done. Where it was done. Then right. Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. You got to say that name. That's it. You got to call that name. That's right. Because Jesus said, do it in the name, in the name of. of. You got to say the name, call the name. That's it. That's right. You don't call the name, you ain't baptized. Your pastor not baptized. Your mama, your mama. daddy, your son, your daughter. You ain't. That's right. You ain't got it right at all. Yeah. Unless you got it just like the word of God say. Be stubborn now. Mm. Be mad. Be hot as you please. That's right. That's your opinion. I didn't write it. No. Call chapter and verse again. That was Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Call chapter and verse again. Acts chapter 2 and at the 38th verse. My name ain't Acts. <laughs> Acts. <laughs> yeah. right. My name ain't Acts. Don't no. blame Pastor Jennings. No. Well, that's your church. I ain't got no church. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'd build my church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's right. Well, my church, that's your problem. That's right. Jesus started the church and the devil started churches. Yeah. The devil started churches. Oh, yes. The devil opened up a smorgasbord. That's right. That's why you go there and be a Baptist and you don't like that. You go be a Mormon. You don't like that. You be a non-denomination. You don't like that. You go be a Jehovah Witness. You go knocking on people's doors, interrupting their breakfast like a fool. <laughs> that's right. Then you get tired of getting up early right then. So you now you become a Mormon so you can get all the wives you want. You don't like that because now all the women getting on your nerves. <laughs> so you, you leave that. You just keep going to smokish board, smokish board, smokish board until you run up on what God said. What God said. God said, be holy. Be holy. For I, the Lord, your God, am holy. That's it. And when you learn the holy teaching of God, you will learn the intelligence of God. You will receive the instructions of God. You will receive the thinking of God, the standard of God. The rules of God to regulate your old wicked life. <laughs> Wonderful. So you had a Washington, you ought to want God's way. That's it. Lay aside your wicked ways and repent of your sins. Anybody want to be right? Amen. Be Bible right. Amen. And be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet Amen. this afternoon if you want it now. Amen. Stand on your feet if you want to get Bible right. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Amen. Thank God for you. Is James set up out there? All right, you, you that want to get baptized, you can be seated again. Be back seated. And then after the benediction, you go right out. After we close out with prayer, you be seated. 
and uh, we'll close out with prayer, and then you go straight out where you see them brothers and sisters back there holding that baptized sign after I close out with prayer. You just march on out and get ready to go down in the water. Now I want to say to all of you in Seattle, Washington, and all of you that are listening, please remember, I hope to see Seattle well represented in the youth conference in the month of April, which is next month. I hope to see you doing tax weekend. <laughs> That's when the uh, youth convention take place. Amen. April 15th, 16th, and 17th. You come on now. Yeah. We're calling for all of our brothers and sisters from all around the world. They will be there by the hundreds. Yes, our convention, we are celebrating God. Yes, and as we come together to celebrate God's goodness and God's greatness. Come on out of your churches. Amen. Pack up and leave your churches. Yes. I want to say to Seattle, you keep listening. We'll let you know our temporary location when we open up the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ here in Seattle, Washington. Yeah. Keep listening now. Yeah. Amen. We'll open up. Yeah. Amen. Well, my secretary is working on that so we can get a temporary location while we speak. And we will announce today. We want to I want to get started after our youth conference. I hope I have something nailed down by the first Sunday of May. That's what I'm targeting. It's wonderful. By the first Sunday of May, I want to target that, which give me time to promote it. Give me a promotion time. Who give me the correct time, brothers? Give me the correct time quickly, please. 157. All right, the evening session start at 5 o'clock. Don't go home and watch your game. You go on and take a break and eat. Come on back. Now, the evening session going to be short because I got a flight to catch out. Normally, I fly out the next day, but I have to get back this evening, so it's going to be a short uh, evening session. So you come on back on time. Uh, the elder, one of the ministers, will open up with prayer at 5 o'clock. He will open up with prayer at 5 and immediately after prayer. Then we'll have prayer, uh, praise and testimony service, which will be about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we'll dive into the Bible. And I won't have time to stick around to greet everybody because i got to get to the airport. So please forgive me if I don't get your hand now or later. So let me greet you now. Greetings, everybody, and peace be unto everybody. Let us all stand. We ask uh, Elder Jones. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now, Lord Jesus, for this word that you've brought forth tonight. We thank you, Lord God, for how you've been a blessing to Seattle, Washington. We thank you, Lord God, for all of those that have been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father God, we just want to thank you for the word of God coming from our pastor. We ask you to continue to bless him, Lord Jesus. Give him strength. Give him health. Continue to bless him, Lord God, as he preached throughout the world. Father God, we want to thank you for being such, so merciful unto us as we continue to strive, Lord God, to live according to thy word that's been taught. Lord, be merciful unto us as a people. Lord, continue to give us the mind. Lord God, just to continue to follow holiness. Give us that mind, Lord God, to do the thing that the scripture has taught us. Father God, give us the mind to be obedient. My God, to the teachings. Oh God, we want to thank you for all that's been said and done. And as we depart to our separate destination, until we return, we ask you, Lord God, to give us traveling mercy. We ask all these blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.